What's up, guys? Lone Wolf MXS here. Uh, sorry for the shaky camera. I pulled out my DJI, uh, whatever it's called, Steadicam Osmos thing, and the battery's dead, so I gotta charge it. And I was like, whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and make this video. I have the lightest, smallest camping gear on the face of the planet. And um, I'm gonna show you what it is. I don't remember the weight of these items, but I'm telling you, it's the lightest, smallest stuff you can buy. So, to start out in the tools department, my saw, this is one of the lightest, smallest hand saws you can get. So, like, I'm I'm not a big guy, I'm, I'm probably like 5'8 or so, uh, maybe 190 pounds, and you can tell... This is a little bit larger than it looks in the pictures when you look it up, the Felco 600, but you can see about how big it is. They do make the pocket saws that are much larger. This pretty much gets everything done I want. Uh, it's probably about 7 inches maybe across, so if you're chopping down something larger than 7 inches with a saw, then uh, you probably need an actual chainsaw. Or uh, one of those huge, uh, what are they called, the band saws or whatever. But if you're not doing that, if you're just building small things like I do, like uh, seats and um, like a hut or something, this is going to get the job done, the Felco 600. It's incredibly light. It is the lightest one I, I could find, and I did a lot of research on it. It's also the smallest one I could find. So if you want a saw, Felco 600. Uh, and sometimes there's things that a hatchet can get done that a saw can't, but a hatchet, a lot of times, uh, which I just cleaned this one and, and oiled it, uh, sharpened it also. I needed to clean it better. But sometimes you need a hammer, so this is a hammer. You can use it as a hammer. You can use it as a hatchet. You can also, uh, this, by the way, is a Grand's Forks, if it would focus, Grand's Forks Brooks hatchet this is the lightest smallest hatchet on the face of the planet there's not a hatchet that is as light as it is and small why is my camera my camera's losing it right now um i could not i actually contacted a professional hatchet maker who makes hatchets for joe rogan and told him that I, this is the lightest smallest hatchet on the planet and he said he, when I told him the dimensions, he had my thing is like he had never heard of this com, uh, company. They're either out of Sweden or Germany or somewhere. I can't remember. He said he had never heard of this company, and he said it's impossible to make a hatchet, a quality hatchet that is as light and small as I as I told him. And I gave him the website and told him to look it up, and he came back and said he couldn't make a hatchet like this with the tools he had, which is insane. But it, it is expensive. This right here you can get on Amazon. It's very cheap. I can't remember how much it is, but it was really cheap. This right here was about $150, and I'm not sure where the price is right now because I've seen them going for $190. These are handmade hatchets. But you cannot get smaller and lighter, and the amount of quality that goes into these, and it's, it's razor sharp, so you don't really even need a knife. You can get this thing razor sharp uh, easily. So... There you go, like if you're wanting to build something, you have it. You have a saw, you have a hatchet, you have a hammer. And that's probably, that's not over three pounds, you know what I'm saying? So, super light. Now, for a shovel, so you want to dig, this is the lightest, smallest shovel you can get on the market. It's the Deuce, I can't see the name, because it... But it's called the Deuce. Uh, this is the number three, which I guess the third one they've made. This is the lightest, smallest shovel on the market. It's made of aluminum. The only thing I don't like is it hurts. If you don't have gloves and you're gripping it like this, trying to dig, it hurts. But if you do have gloves that you can wear, it's, it's not a problem to dig with this thing. You can't dig real deep, as you see, but I'm not planning on digging you know, several feet into the ground. But uh, maybe if you were in snow... You would want something a little better than this, but uh, where I live, it doesn't snow a whole lot. So I usually use this to dig, which is its intended purpose. I dig uh, like a bathroom to use the bathroom in because you're supposed to, you know, cover up your mess and all that stuff because it's uh, really hazardous to the environment if you don't. So this gets everything I need done, done in the woods because I'm not planning on building a log cabin. So all I need is this small, tiny shovel, and that weighs nothing. I think... What is it, 92 ounces, 97 ounces? It's aluminum. 
extremely light. It's the lightest, smallest shovel on the planet. Now, for a cooker, you want to cook your meal. I have the pocket, what's it called? The pocket rocket? Uh, where's it's? Yeah, it's the MSR pocket rocket. So, um, it's basically a rocket that fits in your pocket. And it is the lightest, smallest uh, cooker on the planet. This, as far as I can tell, the Gigapower Snow Peak is the smallest gas canister that is made. So this combined with this thing, which to show you how it kind of works, uh, it folds out like this. Boop, boop. I'm doing this one-handed because I don't have my, my DJI Osmos is dead. So boom, you can kind of see, see how it folds out. Right there, boom, you take that, you put it on top of this, it screws into that, and that's how it works. It's a stove, and you can take, you know, and put a can on top of it. But that is the lightest, smallest, which no way I'm going to be able to fold that back up with one hand. That's the lightest, smallest cooking package ever. Nothing smaller, nothing lighter. The uh, I won't get into pillows and all that yet. So I bought this. This is an Amazon purchase if i can get it open what's it called the tokus this as far as i can see is the lightest smallest cup slash pot it's really a pot that you can use as like a coffee cup but i use it on top of this to boil water uh, and do whatever i need to do it seems to be pretty good quality i've used it before i've cooked in it before um I mostly buy the mountain house mills so you can boil water in this and pour them into the mountain house mills and then boom you got an instant meal it is the lightest smallest pot slash cup on the planet that's practical i'm sure you could get a thimble and boil water in a thimble but that's not practical at all plus you know i can put that in it boom and then i've saved space and it's super light i can compact it you're not going to find a cooking set that is a stove and a pot. You're not going to find one lighter or smaller. Same with the tools. That's a full range of tools. I have a knife, a hatchet, a hammer, a shovel, and a saw. Not going to find anything lighter and smaller than that. So we'll move on to water filters because I have, you know, ways to build shelter. Now I have ways to cook food. Now I need a way to get water, which is extremely important. The Caden Hiker Pro water uh, pump this is supposedly i don't have the filter in right now but the filter sits level with this so you put the filter in it sits level with this uh this is supposedly pumps 1000 gallons worth of water the, the last time i checked it can pump 1000 clean gallons of water it can take you know semi dirty water and and make it into clean water you don't want to be pumping from a super muddy puddle or a a uh, freestanding puddle. I usually only pump from uh, like very clear water with this thing just to remove the bacteria. But this is the lightest, smallest, most practical pump because as I have here, you can go smaller and lighter with a life straw. It's not like lengthwise, it's not smaller, but it doesn't take as much space up and it doesn't weigh as much. The only problem with a life straw is you can't, I mean, I guess you could, you could suck water out of the ground and then spit it in that cup. But that's the only way you're going to get the water from this straw to that cup. Whereas with this, I can run the clean water side into my cup and I can pump water into my cup straight from my filter. Where you can't do that with a life straw. Plus, when I get thirsty, I don't want to have to get down on my hands and knees and suck water from the ground. So with this, I can pump into a canister or, or a container, I mean. So this is the lightest, smallest water pump on the planet. Now, I'm also aware that there's gravity drips, but those take forever to filter water, so I don't like those. This is the lightest, smallest pump on the planet, clean, uh, clean water pump. Now, with the thermorest, so I'm going to go, we've got our tools covered, we've got our uh, meal prep covered, and we have our water covered, which these are all extremely important items if you're spending a week or so in the woods. So now we're going to go through comfort items. Things that you don't really need, which I will say a sleeping bag, which I have two here. Sleeping bag, you do need because you can die without one. You could probably use an emergency bl blanket, but uh, that's not very comfortable. So as far as beds, uh, beds are extremely important in um, the outdoors because sometimes the ground's cold and it will suck heat out of your body. With this, 
This is the lightest, smallest, most practical bed on the market. A lot of people use cots. Uh, a lot of people make cots, which you could do that too. But this, it's extremely small and light for a bed. This is a full-size bed for one person. And it has the highest, the Thermarest. I can't remember what the, uh, what the actual brand's called. But look up Thermarest bed. They're all gray. Like this one you can see is gray. Uh, it has the best heat rating. So it redirects heat from your body back up to you. So therefore, you don't have to make any kind of bedding. Uh, you don't have to have any extensive knowledge of uh, building bedding for... Um, I just realized there's a dirty sock right there in the way. I'm nasty today. I need to vacuum. Me and, me and Death from above pulled the uh, computer apart, and there's computer parts everywhere. Uh, but anyways, that's the lightest, smallest bed you can get. Now, it's not the most comfortable because I think climate makes a more comfortable smaller or not a smaller bed but a more comfortable bed but they don't have as good a, a heat rating this joker right here has the best heat rating and it's the most comfortable bed on the market now speaking of climate i have the pillow x recon this is the smallest actually this is not the lightest smallest pillow on the market uh they actually, Climate, actually, the same company that makes this one, Climate, they actually make a smaller, lighter pillow, which I do have, but the one I have I don't use anymore because this one is more, this one's more resistant to, uh, uh, am, like, uh, embers coming off the fire. It won't put a hole in it, whereas the other pillow that they have is uh, susceptible to uh, popping and burns and stuff, whereas this one is not. This is a much thicker, but you can see how big it is. The pillow fits in my hand. You know what I'm saying? And then it blows up huge. It blows up like from here to here to a nice pillow. And they're actually very comfortable. But this is the lightest almost because the I say this is the lightest, smallest pillow, but climate makes one right under this. So anyways, I have the lightest, smallest pillow on the planet. As far as a chair to sit in, actually, I should go with a sleeping bag next. So you got your bed, you got your pillow, sleeping bag, mountain, uh, what are they called? Uh, mountain hardware make the most awesome sleeping bags on the planet this right here as you see it is not very small it's not super light but this right here i'll tell you a secret real quick about sleeping bags you do not want to keep your sleeping bag in a case like this because the more you keep it compact and the more you compact the sleeping bag it loses its heat rating so um Mountain Hardware sent this bag with, to keep your sleeping bag in when you're not using it. So you can see it's not super compressed, and therefore the life of the bag will live longer. But this is a zero-degree bag. This is an extremely hot mummy bag from Mountain House. I can't remember the name of it, but it can get down to this size right here. It can get down almost to the size of a football. That's close. I mean, not really. <laughs> it's it's close to the size of a football but this is how big right here this sleeping bag can get and it goes down to zero degrees now this sleeping bag that's in here is also mountain hardware this is a summer bag so it goes it goes down to like uh 40 degrees i think this sleeping bag that's in here i don't have it super compressed I can make it much smaller. This sleeping bag will actually get smaller than a football, an American football. Um, so these are both, to me, the lightest, smallest, best sleeping bags you can get on the planet, Mountain House. Now, I don't have, uh, I actually have two tents, and those tents are, uh, they're in my camping room, which I can show you that real quick. Let's see that. So I'm getting my camping gear back together. As you can see, I got my mountain house stuff. I actually have a cot. Uh, I have some. Uh, these are actually ponchos, but you can use them. You can string them up and use them as a shelter, which is really cool. I have more comfortable uh, cooking solutions for when I don't have to hike very far. But anyways, these are my. These are the two tents I have. This tent came off of Amazon. I want to say it weighs four pounds. And this tent, uh, I can't remember what it, I think I bought this at a camping store. It weighs about four pounds. I have yet, okay, so that's heavy for a tent. And that's pretty big for a tent. I think that's pretty huge. 
I am still searching for the lightest, smallest tent on the planet. I found one, but it's a survival tent, which I do not want because it's basically the size of this room right here. And you can see my foot already touched. Like, that's the size of it. You know, my head would be, like, smashed into the wall. That's the size of the survival tent. But, um, oh, th check this thing out. I got two also. It's a uh, Goal Zero Nomad 7 Plus. It's a uh, solar panel. I can charge my solar battery or whatever f with it. But anyways... That is the lightest, smallest camping gear on the planet. I guarantee you, you cannot find anything lighter or smaller than these things. There's no way.